Gavin Freeman, who entered the portal a few days ago, has a destination at Oklahoma State. What? Head scratcher. We'll get into all this and more coming up on this episode of Sooner Legends Podcast. Well, welcome to this episode of Sooner Legends Podcast. I'm your host, Mike the Legend, and if you're new to the channel, can you please hop down, hit that red subscriber button, turn on your post notification bells. That way you won't miss any breaking news or anything else concerned about the Oklahoma Sooners. Could have get you giving me a like and also comment down below. That way it will help push the algorithm of YouTube and with small content creators such as myself, it means a lot and also share the video because sharing is caring well as i alluded to at the beginning of the video gavin freeman aka g freaky hit the transfer portal a few days ago and he has wound up where north of the cimarron river at oaky light legacy player who played at ou his daddy, and he goes to OSU. Now, I'm not throwing any shade or nothing. It, it just has me scratching my head, but look at what he did at OU. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to tear this apart. In his first season, he has one 46-yard touchdown, and then you didn't hardly hear from him. Last year, he had an 80-something yard run on a on a kickoff return. And then what did he do? Muffed punts. Especially in crucial times. And also, he was part of Jeff Levy's jet sweep that didn't do a doggone thing. Now, I'm I'm taking a high road here. Freeman, wherever you, even though you're at OSU, do your best, brother. You stayed at Oak, you're staying in the state of Oklahoma. Do your best. Go be you, my man. I ain't throwing no shade at you, but if you look at our wide receiver group, and for you Twitter, Twitter idiots out there saying that especially that idiot from Texas putting on a space the other night that, that our wide receiver room was going to be lost without Gavin Freeman. Dude, are you drinking your own bath water? That just shows me how stupid you are. Our wide receiver room, Nick Anderson, Jay Gibb, Jalil Farouk, Jacquez Petaway. Um, Deion Burks, Nick Six. And you're sitting there saying that with Gavin Freeman, we're, we're needing wide receivers. Boy, you need to sit down and, and shut up because that just goes to prove how stupid you are. But anyway, I digress. I thought I'd bring that up. But anyway, with, Jack, with, with Gavin Freeman, it, it ain't hurting us. He got processed. Now, we can make the argument as Sooner fans that that was probably the only school that would take him because he does have film for the past two years. And who would want that kind of liability on their program that you're known for muffin punts and kickoff returns in crucial situations? But, hey, there again, I digress. Go up north. Maybe, maybe this university wasn't for you and it got in your head and 
you seen all the all the dudes in front of you who were elite players and it might have gotten your head a little bit. I don't know. And also for all the Twitter BS out there. Guys, Sooner Nation, especially you guys who are subscribed to my channel. I mean, we're all giving G Gavin Freeman his his uh, his flowers going away. We haven't said one thing, negative thing on Twitter about him. But OSU is making a big stink out of it when they forget that when Trace Ford and Kelly Maxwell transferred from OSU to Oklahoma. We keep receipts on stuff like that. And OSU, their, their fan base last, last year and the year before when Trace, when they, when they uh, transferred to Oklahoma, they lost a rabbit-ass mind and took to Twitter and saying some negative, highly negative stuff. And yet they're bringing up the Caden Green incident. Oh, well. Oh, well. Guys, I'm going to tell you something my daddy always told me about this Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Don't give the pricks the satisfaction. When you see stupid stuff like that, take the high road. Don't give them the satisfaction and because all that's doing is, is monetizing them. It goes into their algorithm. It goes into this it, and that that's paying, that's, that's paying their little, their little Twitter deal. Don't give them the satisfaction. Scroll on, scroll on. Don't, don't give them a chance for their, for their, uh, for their page to get monetized just take the high road that's what i do i sit and laugh at the stupid stuff i see 99.9 percent .9 of the stuff i see from texas twitter osu twitter missouri twitter even our own twitter i don't engage not worth my time this podcast right here means more to me than anything in the world so y'all hop down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. This is the legend. We'll see you on the backside. God bless and have a wonderful Sunday.